Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to find the area of a rhombus and of a kite. But not only are we going to look at how to find the area, we're going to actually look at how the area formula comes about. So the first thing that we're going to do in order to figure out the area formula is we're going to cut our kite into two equal triangles. So we always try to cut our shapes into shapes that we're more familiar with. So I outlined one of the triangles in red. I'm going to go ahead and outline the other triangle in blue. So we've cut our shape into two congruent triangles, one in red, one in blue. Okay, so in order to figure out the area, let's say, of the red triangle. So I'm going to say area of triangle equals, as we probably already know, it's equal to half base times height. And in this particular example, our base so happens to be the, um, the diagonal or one of the diagonals of our figure. So let's call that diagonal one, actually. Okay, so the area of the red triangle is a half diagonal one times height. But what is the height? Well, we can cut, let me use a different color. We can figure out the height by halving the second diagonal. So our height is actually half of that second diagonal. Since those two triangles are congruent, our height of the red triangle is half of diagonal, not diagonal one, but diagonal two. All right, so we have now that the area of the red triangle is a half diagonal one times height, and we know that that height is a half diagonal two. All right, that looks lovely and confusing, but that's okay. You're going to see that it's going to come together in just a second. Okay, so we mentioned that the red triangle and the blue triangle are congruent to each other, which means that if the area of the red triangle is half diagonal 1 times half diagonal 2, that means the area of the blue triangle is going to be the same thing. It's going to be a half diagonal 1 times a half diagonal 2. All right, which means that we are adding that area and that area in order to get the whole um, area of the kite. So if we add, and I'll do it in the top in a different color so we can definitely see it, if we add a half diagonal 1 times a half diagonal 2, to a half diagonal one times a half, oh, let's erase that, times a half diagonal two, we get, so a half of something plus a half of something gives you a whole of something, right? So if we add that, we should get a whole diagonal one times half diagonal two. All right. That looks weird. So, of course, we can rearrange it a bit and we get a half, diagonal one, diagonal two, and that's how you figure out the area of a tr uh, kite or a rhombus. So let's do an example. All right, so here we have a kite and we have both of its diagonals and we now know that the area of a kite is going to be, so let's write area of the kite, is going to be half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2, which means that the area of this particular kite is half, well, diagonal 1 is 20, and diagonal 2 is 11. It doesn't actually matter if we called diagonal 1 11 and diagonal 2 20. Um, and then we get, when we work that out, we get 110 centimeters squared. So that's the area of this kite. That's how you do it. 